Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can declare your classes in different file other than your main.cpp and use those classes from different files in your main.cpp. And why it is important and useful to define your classes in different files is because uh, whenever you write a uh, program or whenever programmers write a big program which can contain hundreds of classes and if they write each and every class on the same file it becomes really overwhelming for the other uh, programmers for example uh, the colleagues or uh, the uh, for, or the boss to read those classes in the same file so in order to make your program readable and more accessible we define our classes in different file so we can find those uh, classes uh, really fast and this makes your program really uh, readable and understandable so let's see how we can create files for the class and then we will see how we can use this class in our main.cpp. So if you are using code blocks or any good IDE, it has a mechanism of uh, making those, those file, class files for you. So for example, this uh, tutorial series I am doing on code blocks, uh, in here you need to go to file, new and you will see the option class here. In every good IDE, you will be able to find this option class. And in here, you can define the name of the class. So, for example, I want to make the book class. So, I will say books. And here, you can provide other, other options like if you want to have destructor or if you want to have virtual destructor, which I haven't uh, taught you yet. So I will just uncheck everything because I would like to um, write my code by myself and not uh, by this wizard. So I will just use this visual wizard to make the class and everything else we are going to do by ourselves. So it will be easier to you know remember things. Now the second thing is you need to do is if by default this uh, checkbox is unchecked which is header and implementation file shall be in same folder just check this checkbox and what this mean is you want to create this class files in your project folder so for example I have my project folder here and this project folder contains the main.cpp and this project file and I want this class file also in the same folder. Okay, so this checkbox is does that. And then just click create and just say yes. And you can say yes. Okay, and as soon as you do that, just go to your uh, project file once again. And you see here there are two new files generated here one is called book.cpp and one is books.h and you will be able to see them here also book.h and book.cpp okay before ex explaining this uh, these uh, classes to you and header file to you i would like to compile my program so i will compile this and in code blocks whenever you create uh, this uh, class by this wizard and whenever you compile it it will give you this error i i am getting this error if you are in case you are getting this error which is undefined reference to win main at the rate 16 then what you need to do you just need to close this your project so i will just close my project and i will save all my changes and I will once again open 
code blocks and then this problem will be solved so i will reopen my project once again and once i once again i compile this and you see there are no errors now so i i don't know if it's a bug or what but uh, this is the solution i found for this problem okay once this is done you have your uh, book.cpp file so how you can open the, these files just right click and just say open books.h or books.cpp okay so we have two files here this code blog wizard has created two files for us one is called books.h which is called header file and one other is called books.cpp which is called source file and we haven't seen uh, uh, this declaration of classes so what header file is doing here is it contains the declaration or prototyping of your class or your method so whatever declaration of the class you want to do you will do in this header file or books.h file okay and this source file we can will contain the definition of those member functions or those classes so here you will write the method definition so i have i think in the earlier videos i have uh, uh, explained you what is member not member function but what is function prototyping what you do in function prototyping you just make a prototype of function at the top of uh, or above your main function and you can define the definition of the function below your main function so this above uh, which you define is called the prototyping same this header file is doing it's only containing the uh, uh, the prototypes and this will contain all of your code for your function so let's see what is this class containing this uh, code i will explain you later so just uh, uh, leave it as it is for now but this is the class definition and we know that uh, this is how you declare the class and it has three preprocessor directives or this public protected and private and this i will explain you later in later videos but we have learned how we can use public access specifier right so i will use only public and this is constructor if you are, have followed my last video so let's define some uh, member variable in this public uh, domain so i will define int book id for example so i will say book id and i want to define the getter and setter function for this uh, book id i have also explained you this getter and setter functions in the previous videos if you remember so i will define first of all set so set book id and what it takes it is initialized by void so we are not returning anything and it takes an argument which is same as book id so i will say book id but with an underscore so we know that this is the argument and this is our member variable in a similar way i will define a get getter so i will say int getter returns the type which uh, we want to return so we have book and it has a type or data type int so we are returning int and i will say get book id okay and it doesn't take any parameter so this is called the prototyping of the function right and in header file we do the prototyping of these function and the definition or the source code of the, these function will come in this 
book.cpp in here. Now before moving further, you might be wondering what is this? Why uh, it's uh, written here book colon colon books. So this uh, double colon is called binary scope resolution operator. And why we are using this binary scope resolution operator? Because you can define different uh, classes which can have the same function uh, set ID and get book ID. Set book ID and get book ID. So how you will uh, recognize that this set book ID is a part of this class so you you use the name of the class colon colon the member function so this is the constructor which is this one and first one is the class name so class name and the member function and this is books because this is the constructor and this is also a member function of your class right so same thing we do with our set book id and get book id so just remember this double colon is called binary scope resolution operator. Okay, I will copy this and this comes just after or just before the name of your function. So this is the name of your function. So just before the name of your function, you use this uh, name of the class and then this binary scope resolution operator and then name of the function. Now you can easily say that this function is a member function of this book class, right? That's why we are using this. And same we are doing with, we will do with this get book ID. But this is our CPP file. So we need to define these function or we need to write the source co code for set book ID and get book ID, right? So in set a function, what we do, we just take our argument here and we will just pass it to our member variable. So I will just do this equal to this. Okay. And what getter does, it only returns your member variable, which is this one. So you can write return book id okay so this you know how to declare or define member functions now whenever you see this uh, main.cpp you see here we have defined these uh, files here so it has include this io stream and include this string and using namespace std so what you need to do is in you need to copy this all these uh, inclusions and paste it in your header file also so that your uh, header file or class will also know that uh, if you use uh, string or io stream or standard uh, namespace your uh, you know this uh, member variable doesn't get confused that where this comes from so you need to include this includes io streams and whatever uh, files or headers you want are including in the main file you need to include it in the header file also and if you see in the books.cpp it's including books.h which is this header file so your source file will always initialized by this inclusion of your header file and why we are including this we are including this to tell your source file which is your book.cpp that we have declared the prototype of uh, this class in the header file so include all the all the all the classes or the declaration from the header file in the cpp file so this line will include your your classes or whatever uh, declaration you have done in the header file now your cpp file will know that uh, yes i need to i will see this declaration here and 
yes i can then uh, give the source code for these member functions here so always include this in the cpp file so you are including this in the cpp file books.cpp file you need to include this just copy this in your main file to, in order to call this class in your main.cpp okay so just include this book.header file in your main.cpp now your main.cpp knows that there is some header file and it will go to this header file and it will see there is a class declaration there so now it knows that there exists a class in this header file which i can use okay now everything is simple whatever you can make the object of the class i have already told you how to use classes so just copy the name of the class go to your main function and we will uh, define the object of the class books and for example book once so this is the object declaration and then we can use this object to call our function member function of the class so first book dot i will call this set book id so this will set the book id and this will take some arguments so i want to set book id is equal to 100 for example and i will use get book id to print this uh, uh, id of the book right so i will write c out and then i will write book one dot get book id so this will return you the book id right and then once again end line okay so this will return you 100 because we have set the value of book id is equal to 100 and we are getting this here and printing it so let's compile our code and it's compiled successfully and when i run this program you will see 100 here okay so now you can declare your classes in this form of uh, source file and header file and use these classes in your main main.cpp file so that it's easier to uh, you know see and uh, you understand that you have these class de declaration here and you can use these classes here so this makes your uh, code really simple in terms of understanding and uh, in a long run when you have you know 10 or 50 classes it will make your uh, uh, you know programming really easy when you define these classes in different header files and source files okay so i hope you understood the basic concept of these uh, classes which we declare in the other files and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.